6.2.1 Characteristics of Quadratic Graphs Essential Question How do I identify key attributes of a quadratic function given a graph? The skills are I can identify characteristics of quadratic functions, I can find domain and range, and I can describe transformation of functions. We'll find these characteristics. Find the x intercepts first. It's going to be this point and this point. We have negative 3 comma 0 and 1 comma 0. The y intercept appears to be right here. We have 0 comma negative 9. The domain of a quadratic is all real numbers. Negative infinity to positive infinity. Axis of symmetry is the line that goes through the vertex. And it goes through x equals negative 1. It is increasing on the, the right side. So this is going to be at x is greater than negative 1 from negative 1 to infinity. And then it's decreasing on the left side. when x is less than negative 1, so negative infinity to negative 1. The extrema is this point right here. It's a minimum. And it's at y equals negative 12. The vertex is the axis of symmetry, negative 1, comma, the extrema, negative 12. The range it's from low to high, negative 12 to infinity. Also knows y is greater than or equal to negative 12. Reflection, there's none. If there was a reflection, it would be upside down. Dilation, it looks like it's more vertical, so that's a vertical stretch. And then translations from zero, zero to the new vertex, it went left and down. To find our equation, we need to first figure out what A equals. So we're going to use two points, the vertex and the y-intercept. And we're going to plug it into this formula. y equals a parentheses x minus h squared plus k. So the vertex was negative 1 comma negative 12. That's your h and that's your k. And your y-intercept was 0 comma negative 9. That's going to be your x and your y. We plug them in to find a. So we plug those in. We get negative 9 equals a parentheses 0 minus negative 1 squared plus negative 12. Okay, simplify some stuff. Add 12 to each side. 3 equals a. 1 times 1 is just 1, and 1a one is still just a. a is 3, and it's opening upwards, so it's a positive 3. The equation is y equals 3 parentheses x minus the negative 1, so x plus 1 squared minus 12.
Try the other example below.